Effort's over there. He just got done getting yelled at for being naughty. As if that's anything new. Sick or not, he's got to behave. And I'm still enjoying my Echo Coolers. Um. So, we are here to do... We are back to doing Shout Out Sunday! I'm just going to be a Shout Out Sunday and a little mini vlog. Um, because... Everybody's wanting to know how Pepper is doing, um, so we'll start out with that. Um, right now he's over here pouting because he said he just got yelled at for not behaving. Um, so that might be a good sign he's doing better. Um, all in all, his um, broken tail is better. It's wagging again, and he's got the little karma cue coming back. Um, he's not limping anymore, so that's good. Um, I have spent the weekend since yesterday, um, on Saturday, having a freak out because he, he stopped eating. And, or, well, sorry to say he, he would eat a few bites and then not finish his food. And, um, I was getting concerned. Um, and I'm sorry, I can't look at the pan because the flash is on again. Um, keep forgetting to bring extra lighting in here until I get the geeky girl cave back in organized order so we can go in there. But, um, I just, I was so upset. Couldn't get him to the bed. Nobody to help me. So I just, I didn't know what to do. So, um, this morning, he didn't want to eat his food at all, period. So I started having to freak out again. And, um, then I just, I let him be. So when I was ready to go eat around noontime, I took him in the kitchen with me, and I made him eat, and I, I was watching him, and he, unlike Mahoney, Mahoney would wolf her food down, because she was, um, that was part of her PTSD, a protective mechanism, and, um, being very guarded with her food, so she would wolf it down real fast. Peppa is never like that, he, he's a slow eater, he loves to savor and enjoy his food. But he was eating way too slow, and then he would, he was dropping it out, and, um, and I just was watching the way he, so I looked at his mouth, and his gum lines, like, right under his nose, um, on that top row of teeth there, and a little bit on the bottom was, uh, really red and irritated, and I discovered that was the problem, and what caused that was a uh, padfoot. Padfoot, can I see that? Try not to bump the camera. Let me see this a minute. Um, I've always, since the dogs were babies, I bought them these nylon bone for power chewers. Being here, it's really hard plastic, and you see how the edges are real frayed. Well, they're sharp. And um, it cuts dogs' gums if they've never used them before and they use them the first time, or if they haven't had them for a long time and start chewing again. It irritates the gums, but that that's actually a good thing. It keeps their teeth and gums very, very clean and healthy. He's never had to have a dental cleaning because of these. These save your dogs' de um, dental work money. You want it? You want it? You want it? Yeah. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the mystery of why he couldn't eat, um, because when I went in there to get some Swiss cheese, as soon as I touched the cheese package, he was in there wanting some. I made him a big, huge pot of, what? My bone. My bone. Want it? Okay. Yeah, that's Peppa's bone. That's right. Oh, hold on. Um, and you know he he's eating that just fine. So I think what is eating the hard kibble when his gums are irritated is the issue because he's been in his crate for a week and a half, and his nylon bones lay here in the bed. So um, he hasn't had access to his nylon bones. Um, for a week and a half, so he's, and he's used to chewing on them daily, 
several times a day. So I, I think that's what it is because he's hungry. The appetite's there. Um, he's potting okay. He's drinking plenty of water. He's been playful. That to be quite obnoxious. That's fine. Right. So I, I think um, it was probably his gums are irritated. Because he's, he seems like he's getting back on the road to being Catholic again. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, we're going to see how he does, does in the next few days with the chicken and rice and having access to his nylon bones. Um, let his gums heal and strengthen up with the nylon bones. And see if maybe that was, that was it. Because obviously he's got an appetite. Uh, he's eating treats and anything else that I'll throw at him. So I think it's just the kibble is kind of hard. Um, maybe he needs new food, but I, I don't know what to give him because that food is so specific for his sensitive stomach issues. Anyway, that's the alarm for the phone saying I gotta take my medicine, but I can't do that right now. Do it in a minute. So, um, and he, he's always loved that dog food, so. Again, I think mean, it's just a gum issue. But other than that, Padfoot seems to be feeling a little better. I know he's having a hard time bouncing back, but he's getting there. We got through our second night last night. Slept much better. In fact, he didn't want to get out of bed this morning. Poor thing's probably just exhausted. I know I am. Have a kiss. Well, thank you. Okay. Alright. So, anyway, that's it for Padfoot. Um, as far as his, his update goes, we'll just see how it goes in the next few days. Um, right. So, you better not knock that camera over or I'm going to knock you in the head. Go get your bow. Good job. So you can't, he must be on the mend because he's back with me needing to have to smack him around. So <laughs> that's a good sign. Anyway, so let's get started on Shout Out Sunday. And before I start that, again, thank you for everybody for um, all the prayers and good thoughts and well wishes um, for all the chaos me and Pat would have been going through. It means so much. It really does. So thank you, everybody. Um, as obnoxious as he is, I don't know what I'd do without him. Right. On to Shout Out Sundays. Um, because I did not get to do a proper one last weekend, so we're going to do one today. Um, again, these are, um, these are some of my favorite channels that I love watching often. Check them out. The links to their, uh, YouTube channels. Will be in the description box below. Check them out, subscribe, show them some love. So, the first person we have is Adorkability. Ability. His channel is so funny and so awesome. He does unboxings, um, and I believe he does like uh, comic book polls as well. Um, and, but I love watching his unboxings. We, we've, we've got similar taste in um, many of the geeky fandoms, so. I love watching his unboxings. Sometimes his pets make an appearance, which are great. Y'all know how I love pets in videos. So, definitely go check him out. The next we have... I'm seeing spots, so I can't read, read my list now. Um, the next we have E. Claire. Um, e. Claire, she's awesome. She does um, a lot of unboxing videos. Um, I... She does some some gameplay. I don't I don't game anymore, but uh, I know she does like some gameplays and stuff as well. But I love watching her unboxings, and just like me, she does uh, random life vlogs every now and then um, that I find really interesting, um, especially um, those that concern the. Uh, it is always a mouthful. The LGBT community, um, you know, that's our community, and I. I Love my rainbow family, so I support any channel that also does vlogs on that. Stop itching, scratching, whatever. The next person 
fact is Franklin FM McInnes. I I found his channel through uh, Cat D's channel actually. Um, really really nice guy. Um, he he does unboxings, but I love. Um, he posts like poems every now and then. He did a really awesome um, domestic violence one or like abusive relationship one recently that that it was so awesome and I couldn't even comment on it because my last relationship was extremely abusive and if you guys have been around my channel long enough you know that situation and what happened to me and that relationship nearly cost me my life so that hearing stuff like that is very emotional for me. He also did one for Mother's Day that was really really emotional for me as well. But he posts a lot of stuff like that and I really really enjoy it. So definitely check him out. Um, the next is Funko Mama. I can't remember how I found her or if she found me. I think I found her. Um, I think it was a Horror block unboxing for this month, it, or maybe it was before that. I don't know. She, she's a recent find for me. She does unboxings. She's really, really awesome. She's incredibly sweet. So go check, go check out her unboxing videos. Um, next is my friend Jordan, giving up ninety six. He also does a lot of unboxings. Um, he does like. DVD Blu-ray hauls. I know he does. He's he's constantly doing us uh, swaps with uh, the folks over at Horror Addicts, which are amazing group of folks too. Check them out as well. Um, but Jordan is really really cool. I'm I'm always interested in seeing the the stuff he is showcasing on his channel. And again, he also does unboxing. Hi, it's Candace again. I'm back. My, uh, I'm, I'm an idiot. I, I forgot to put the memory card back in the camera, so it, the first part of the video sucked up all the memory on there and cut the camera off, so had to put the memory card in there, then transfer that video to the memory card, otherwise the camera wasn't going to work, so, I'm back. Anyway, so, as I was saying, check out Jordan, uh, Giving Up 69 channel, as well. Um, next, we have Jeremy May. I'm not quite sure how I came by his channel, but it was recently. Um, he does unboxing videos, and they're so freaking hilarious um and the interaction he has with this lady is just hilarious too um his unboxings are just so comedic so funny uh there's been a couple of times that i had to pause it and walk away because i was laughing so hard i thought i was gonna wet myself <laughs> he's just funny you've got to check out his channel go check it out and subscribe to him He's freaking hilarious. Um, the next I have, now, this site has been on my channel for a while, and I watch their videos as well. Um, I don't think they really do unboxings or anything like that, but they, um, this person does a lot of, um, film reviews. And I love, I love hearing what other people have to say about either older films or our, uh, or our most current films. Um, that are out now, and I'm not sure how to say this um, person's first part of their YouTube channel name. Um, kind of weird because it starts with a T N, so I don't know if it's like Japanese N and the T is silent. So I don't know if it's N Nashi's Movie Corner or Tanashi's Movie Corner, but. Uh, Somebody correct me, and even if I did hear it, with me being hearing impaired, I would hear it differently and still probably not be able to say it right, but, I don't know. But, anyway, check out Nashi's Movie Corner if you are really into uh, watching fellow YouTubers doing um, film reviews. And the last one is a couple of really awesome gothic-y 
horror loving ladies. Um, Creep and Stein, which is Christina Creep and Sarah Stein. Um, this duo is hilarious. I love their videos. They do uh, unboxings. They do um, tag videos, random vlogs, and they're they're absolutely awesome. Um, I love seeing um, many of the interests that they're into is stuff that I like. Um, thanks to them, I had to spend money for a couple of enamel pins that they showcased on their channel that I had to have for my collection so that's one thing that they really get to me is they make me spend money money I don't have I'm a poor girl stop it ladies but no really they're they're absolutely awesome love their channel um, love their videos and I love Sarah's laugh she has this very infectious happy giggle that just it makes my day. If I watch their videos in the morning, it makes me, it makes my, my day start up very well. And if I've had a bad day and I watch a video in the evening, it really is like the highlight of my day. They're absolutely great. Um, and, and like I said, Sarah just gets to me with that laugh. She's absolutely adorable. They're both adorable. Um, so definitely go check their videos out as well. Like I said, everybody's um, link to their YouTube channel will be in the description box below. But that is it for this weekend's uh, Shout Out Sunday. Um, and let's have a little mini update vlog on Big Dummy over here. So hopefully he's on the mend. I'm feeling better as well. My, my stroke was very mild this time, not like the, the previous four I had that were pretty severe. Um, I, I'm, I'm just I'm really glad that it, it, it didn't get any worse than it was because I need to be there for half foot issues. So, but that is it for us. You want to say bye bye? And remember, like, comment, subscribe. Peace out for me, and I will let you say good night to Pat. Say night night. You still pouting? Say night night. Peace.